Hey everyone, it's Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. I'm back with another video for you today here in Grasse, France. Or Grasse, France. I'm here with Jean-Philippe and Hi. Megan of Atelier Desors Fragrances. They're going to tell you all about their four upcoming releases and you're going to have a chance at winning two bottles worldwide all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And Jean-Philippe and Megan, thanks so much for doing this video with me. Tell me thanks about- Thanks for inviting. Thanks, Sebastian. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, tell me about the fragrances. So actually, um, part of the existing line, um, uh, we do have a new release, which is called Bois Sicard. Uh, so, uh, in, uh, in French means wood and cigar actually means tobacco. It's a Mayan word which gave later on cigar in Spanish and cigar in both French and English. Um, as uh, you know, I've been uh, I'm spending a few years in the tobacco cigar uh, and made cigar business. So it's really about those years we try to capture actually uh, that essence of uh, cigar smoking. So you are in a gentleman's club having a, a, a cigar, enjoying a cigar and also enjoying a single malt. And the idea, it was a highly island whiskey. Uh, so the characteristic of the highly uh, island uh, whiskey is very pity, it's so very smoky. So it's about the cedar wood you have in the cigar boxes. It's about the oak barrel, where the, um, the, 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 the whiskey is aging and maturing. And it's about, obviously, of the, that uh, smokiness, the smoke of the, of the cigar. Cool, yeah. It's great scent. I smelled it at Exxon's and I really loved it. And I love the boozy and also the tobacco, yeah. but it's also very smoky. Yeah, true. So it was uh, yeah, really those uh, those uh, heavy uh, smoky notes uh, we were trying to, to capture with Marie Salamagne, uh, who re created that uh, that perfume. So Marie Salamagne is the perfumer for all of your fragrances? Yes. Every single one of them? Mm -hmm. Every single one. Actually, uh, the, the previous collection, the, the new black, let's say, call it black, and also the, the white. Three new the new white. So White the collection. white collection, the new one, exactly. So tell us about the white collection then. So the white collection, actually it's a, a triptych. Uh, so uh, every fragrance can be uh, enjoyed separately, but actually all together they tell a story. So uh, the idea is the, the pursuit of happiness. Uh, so and every fragrance is actually a stage, a step in that uh, pursuit of happiness. That's the idea. That's the idea. So, so I have three of them. Uh, yes, three fragrances. We yes. have the first one, which is called Nuda Veritas. Um, the second one is called Crépuscule des âmes. And, and the third one is called Que des Anges, which is Choir of Angels. So actually, uh, the white uh, collection has been inspired by three major pieces of art. Uh, the Ode to Joy, a poem of Frédéric Schiller, which later on inspired uh, the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven. Mm -hmm. And that uh, symphony has inspired Klimt, the Fries Beethoven, a monumental uh, painting, 34 meters long. Uh, it's about that pursuit of happiness and the, the, the I would say, the obstacle, uh, the temptation humanity is going through. So for me, it was very important to bring uh, uh, some uh, some deep meaning uh, to that collection uh, to bring something let's say additional to to, to our perfumery. Cool. Mm -hmm. And this so, is the first perfume, Nuda Veritas, Nuda Veritas, which is the Naked Truth. And this perfume is very light, it's very fresh, it has a lovely floral in it, it has some jasmine, it has some osmanthus, but also some moss. And this is a very pure fragrance, it is to um, demonstrate the start of that journey for happiness, that search for happiness. It's a, it's, a, yeah, it's a quest for spirituality, so it's about elevating yourself. Awesome. It smells great. Mm -hmm. I just sprayed some on. 
So what's the second one? The second one. Crepuscule des âmes. This one um, in English means twilight of the soul. And crepuscule refers to the moment when the light transfers to dark, but also to the moment when the darkness turns to light. And that is the twilight of the souls. And it's the perfume is to represent the duality also expressed in the painting, the Beethoven Freeze, for the second component of the painting, which is much darker. There's temptation, it's more colourful. We have some lovely Mandarin in here, but also some darker notes to illustrate more of the temptation. We've got Harassium in there also, and patchouli. Harassium? Harassium, yes. Was that from the Hyrax yeah, animal? Yes. Okay. That is it. Yes, ah, yes. It's becoming trendy to use Hyrax. Do you think so? <laughs> or Hyrasium. Yeah, no, I think it is useful because it does give quite a nice um, it gives a nice depth to the fragrance but it's not too much you know it doesn't go too far over to beastie beastie element Pico. yeah no, exactly okay. that word <laughs> yeah it was really to play the balance between the light and the dark yeah. and uh, we leave it to um, to, uh, to to everyone to choose actually which direction he wants to go okay. so to brightness or to darkness so it's really up to everybody to find its own path nice right. and then the third one this, this is a coup des anges and this in english is choir of angels and this is a the final perfume in the triptych and it is basically in its explosion it's a very radiant floral there's a lot of orange in here it's very joyous there's honey as well and that symbolizes the hydromel or the um, nectar of the gods and it's the painting if you can see it is very colorful it's very bright it's very orange there's a beautiful choir of angels in the glint and there's also a couple the final part is the kiss it's in the nice embrace and it's the kiss to the whole world and so it ends humankind has found salvation um, through the arts through poetry through music cool so when do these launch they are about to be launched so let's say in May in, in, May. Uh, in all uh, in all uh, the the countries where we are available yeah and in the USA you are in Lucky Scent and Oslo yes that's correct okay. if though you're in London Paris is going to be having this uh, as of uh, the 25th of uh, April oh yes. so sooner than May mm -hmm. sooner than May so, yes, that right. bit. so we're doing a giveaway of Boasty Car one bottle uh, full bottle Model for a worldwide uh, subscriber of this channel and a second bottle of your choice of, of, the three. of one of the three worldwide. So two bottles giveaway, uh, worldwide giveaway and make sure you're subscribed and please put down in the comments what your favorite gold item is that you have in your in your possession and also please put down your country so we can find out where you're commenting from and also guys just let us know what your thoughts are on this collection what do you think about atelier des Ors fragrances do you have any favorites if you do let us know also if you have any questions for these two guys, let us know too. And do you have any last and final things to say? If you have any questions, I'll pop on and answer them. Okay, on perfect. The so, fine. Awesome. You can ask thanks me whatever for watching. you like. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank please, you. please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.